Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you what to look out for when you download a ProSoft configuration through the co configuration builder. This is handy to have and know, especially when you want to initialize or maybe prevent a write from a ProSoft after the download is completed. Let's get started. So uh, first of all, I'm going to launch my ProSoft configuration builder here and then uh, do a download. To the to the post of module so when i hit download notice how the sequence goes it goes to sending configuration file and after that it goes download module and then rebooting module and then after that module run rebooting module is what you want to look out for when you can see all the block status goes to zero right about here you can see that this one is running right now rebooting module notice how it goes to zero here in a short moment there we go and it starts counting up again right so this is a clear cut indication that the ProSoft has downloaded uh, uh, sorry the configuration has downloaded into the ProSoft module and now you can actually write a logic around the fact that when this goes to say less than 100 uh, do prevent some write or any of the parameters that you might want to execute there I hope this tutorial was helpful it's kind of short uh, other than that have a good day bye now